Damn. So my girl Delicious is blonde now. Wow. I, it, I'm sorry. I'm trying to take my eyes from the bottom of the screen to the top of the screen right now. See, give me a second. Okay, I'm, I'm all right now. I, I'm, I, I was under a spell and the spell was spelled ASS. Now, anyways, back to the hair. Not the rear, but the hair. Man, Delicious looks beautiful with this blonde hair. Here's what she had to say on Instagram. She said, rise and grind, my loves. It's time to make the donuts. Hands up in the air emoji at hair traffic. Man, shout out to hair traffic. If they colored her beautiful hair and made it blonde like that, man. You know, she has a really nice complexion to wear blonde hair, too. I mean, I love her as a brunette or as a blonde. You know, she, she's she's one of those women, one of the rare ones that can pull off any hair color that she wants. Her, Nia Riley, you know, it's a small group of women. You, you know, because a lot of time y'all check me. Ah, <laughs> oh, here we go. I'm going to hurt somebody's feelings today. I'm going to hurt somebody's feelings. Well, a lot of y'all don't understand <laughs> is that everybody can't wear every hair color or hair style. Like, you might not, not have the face for it, the face shape for it. You might not have the complexion for a particular hair color. And you might look really ridiculous. Let me give you an example. If you're Lupita Nyong'o, you probably shouldn't be wearing a long pink Rapunzel weave down your ankles. You might look ridiculous. Now, Nicki Minaj can wear it, but it'll look really crazy on Lupita Nyong'o. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody can't wear everything now. Delicious is always on point. I've never seen Delicious not looking good. She always looks damn good. You know, she always looks astonishing. But anyway, speaking of that ass, did you guys ever see what she said about that video I made about her months ago? Did y'all see? Did y'all see what she said on Instagram when I made I made this stupid ass video talking about how fat her ass was? And she she actually reposted a clip. She said people keep sending me this. She reposted a clip of it on this. I'll make a separate video showing you guys what she said. But anybody who saw it, that shit was funny as hell. But anyways. Uh, you know, I've been a fan of Delicious since forever. She's been looking delicious since Flavor of Love. That's when I first saw her. And I was like, damn. I was like, that big booty chick is fine as hell. You know, I see why Flavor Flay picked her. I said, I would have picked her too. Would have picked you like a booger. No, let me stop being nasty using my pickup lines for five years ago. Anyways, <laughs> shout out to Delicious. Shout out to Hair Traffic for doing a phenomenal job. I mean, she looks amazing. But just because I love her with the blonde hair doesn't mean that you do. You might be a hater. You might be the type of person that looks at her and says, she ain't all that because you ain't all that. And you wish you looked like this. And you know what your man is saying, Heifer? Do you know what your man is saying? Your man is saying, nay. And you know what he says when he looks at you? He looks at you and says, oh, that's it. That's it. And I know what hurts your feelings. See, heifers that stay hating on delicious. See, look, listen. If I was a woman, a normal, average looking woman, and I saw a woman that looked like delicious with that big old delicious booty and that pretty old face, I would just say props, sis. You bad as a motherfucker and just walk away. I will leave it at that. But some of you heifers can't let pretty girls be great. You can't. She has a beautiful face. Her hair is on fleek. Her eyebrows are on fleek. And her ass is the eighth wonder of the world. Why not just give her props? Because anything other than giving her credit is just, we know that you're hating. Because she's that bad. But anyways, this is all my opinion. I'm just a favorite thirsty blogger. What do I know? I'm just an asshole with a microphone. I'm a big asshole, not as big as that ass, but I'm a big ass. Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channel. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine, Meat Magazine 7 on Google Plus, and Meat Magazine blog on Instagram. Some lucky man is using that as his pillow. I don't know who he is, but shout out to whoever this man is.